we're going to learn how to control a brushless motor with an Arduino and a potentiometer. For that, we need an Arduino, a brushless motor, a potentiometer, a speed controller, a power supply, and some wires. First, we need to connect the brushless motor to the speed controller. Then connect the white signal wire of the speed controller to port 9 of the Arduino. The Arduino will send a pulse width modulation signal to the speed controller through this wire. Then connect the red wire from the speed controller to the positive rail of the breadboard. This will provide around 5 volts to the breadboard. Then connect a red wire from the positive rail to the 5 volt port of the Arduino. This will power the Arduino. Then connect a black wire from the Arduino ground port to the ground rail of the breadboard. Then connect a black wire from the ground rail to the speed controller ground port. Next, we will need to connect the potentiometer. So we connect the left side to the positive rail and then the right side to the negative rail. Finally, we connect the center pin to port A0 of the Arduino. Now connect your Arduino to the computer to start writing the program. You can download my Arduino code for free, links down below for that. Then we type this code. This tells the Arduino to use the pre-built servo instruction library. A servo is a different type of motor, but it will work fine for this project. If you want to learn how that motor works, you can find a link in the video description down below. Then we type this, which creates an object called ESC, although you can call it whatever you wish. Then we type this line of code, which creates a variable integer called speed. Then we type this line of code, which tells the Arduino that the object called ESC is connected to pin 9. It will send a pulse width modulation signal out of pin 9. The pulses will be between 1 millisecond and 2 milliseconds in length. The motor will still rotate without this last part, but the motor will stall when the potentiometer is at its maximum. So we will include this in the code. Then we type this. This takes a voltage reading from the potentiometer on port A0 and it associates this with a variable we created called speed. We are sending 5 volts through the potentiometer and reading the voltage we get back from this, which varies depending on the position of the potentiometer. The Arduino receives this and converts the voltage into a number between 0 and 1023. When it receives 5 volts, it is 1023. When it is 0 volts, it is 0. The servo library we're using doesn't understand these numbers. It only understands values between 0 and 180. So we're creating a scale here to convert between them. Then the final part of the code takes this value and sends it as a pulse width modulation signal to the speed controller. So we send this code to the Arduino, then we disconnect the USB cable and connect the power supply to the speed controller. The motor will create a few beeps as it configures itself and then after a short while we can start to control the speed of the motor using the potentiometer. Check out one of these videos on screen now to continue learning about electronics engineering and I'll catch you there for the next lesson.